Hello, fellow makers. I'm Joe. And I'm Doug. And we are Buildbotics. Today, we'll show you how we use the Buildbotics controller to upgrade this inexpensive laser cutter and demonstrate the software we're using with it. The laser came with buggy proprietary software. After upgrading it with the Buildbotics controller, we have an awesome open source laser cutting system. First, let's talk a bit about laser safety. Lasers are dangerous and can cause severe damage to your eyes if the proper precautions are not taken. In addition to using the pre-installed laser safety screen, we are wearing safety glasses which match the laser's wavelength and intensity. These glasses are inexpensive and comfortable to wear. There's really no excuse for not using them. To convert the laser, we first removed the old control board. Then we connected the stepper motors and laser driver to the Buildbotics controller. We were able to reuse the laser driver and power supply that came with the unit. As a precaution, we added a safety switch to prevent the laser from turning on when the door is open. With the Buildbotics controller online, we can navigate to its webpage and load the configuration file we created for this laser. Next, we visited the Buildbotics project sharing website and downloaded the files for the locket project. We added engraving to the original locket project to test the laser. We started with drawings we found on Google. Then scaled the drawings using Inkscape. Using commodics, we generated the G-code and ran a simulation. Now we're ready to cut the part. We've mounted a piece of quarter inch red oak to the TAG CNC. You can see how we set up the TAG in another video. The first operation cuts two registration holes in the inside halves of the locket. Next, we head back to the laser cutter. After sticking down the locket halves in the laser cutter with double-sided tape and closing the door, we position and zero the laser head using the gamepad. With our laser glasses on, the door shut, and the ventilation and water cooling systems running, we start the engraving. After making sure the laser is off, we open the door and take out the engraved locket. Now it's back to the tag for the final cut. Light sanding and a little wood finish adds some final touches. The fit between the two halves is excellent. The precision of the CNC is really impressive. The rim of the locket is only one millimeter thick. This takes woodworking to a whole new level. Do you think we could sell these on Etsy? Today we demonstrated using the Buildbotics controller with both a laser cutter and a CNC mill to create an intricate locket in red oak. We downloaded the locket from the Buildbotics project sharing website, added laser engraved graphics we found on Google, scaled them using Inkscape, simulated the cuts with commodics, and then sent the G-code to the Buildbotics controller. The locket came out really great. I'm going to make a couple more of these and give them to my wife and daughter. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and consider supporting our efforts by buying your own Buildbotics controller on Kickstarter.